Now we're going to enter one more cell in order to show you a few more options in the software. Let's say we're going to scan the same uh, shampoo bottle that we've been scanning with a barcode scanner so far. Uh, so it's going to be the item uh, for the sale. And let's say the customer in here wants to have a gift receipt. Now, gift receipt is one of those receipts that uh, can be given with the item as a present or a gift to somebody where it has all the prices masked out with the total price and everything just not showing hidden. Uh, and um, that way, whoever you're gifting the item to uh, doesn't know how much you paid for it. However, they still have a receipt in order uh, to exchange it for whatever reason if they need to. And... Uh, this is achieved just by clicking this gift receipt button in here. Now, as you saw, as soon as we clicked it, it got colored differently. That's just to remind us that the option is on because um, as long as this is on, the software is going to keep on producing receipts with hidden um, prices, with messed out prices. So, you know, the color is differently in here, so you don't forget and uh, turn it off after you don't need it anymore after the sale, you know. So, we're going to um, assume that this customer wants to pay with a credit card and uh, we'll therefore select this charge option in here among the payment options and we'll click tender. Now keep in mind since we've never done this before, we've never set up the software for credit card processing, um, some screens are going to show up in here now where we're going to have to select some things and enter some credentials because we're setting up the credit card processing for the first time in here. But of course, after you set all that up, uh, the next time you process credit cards, it will be much shorter, much simpler and faster process. So now uh, the software is showing us all of the options that we have for credit card processing. On top, the top four are four different uh, companies that we've worked for worked with for years and uh, know as very good companies and regard very highly and suggest to our customers as integrated uh, payment processors to this software that we have integrated throughout the years and uh, if by any chance you don't want to use any of our suggestions and our integrated solutions you can go ahead and select the bottom uh, option in here which is for a, your own non-integrated processor, meaning you have your own machine on the side from some other company and uh, you don't mind that it's not going to be integrated, it's not going to have anything to do with the software. Let's say for this example we're going to show you how to use Cayenne. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just select it and as soon as you make a selection here you can pretty much click update or process card at this point both of those buttons will do the same thing which is save your selection and uh, take you to the next screen where you actually set up Cayenne for the first time because it knows you haven't done anything like that before so go ahead and just click process card this is the screen where the Cayenne screen where you will charge cards from uh, usually we we'll just click process card in here and you'll swipe the card and you're done but right now, again, since we've never done this before, we have some uh, setup process in here to do uh, as well. So we'll go ahead and fill out the account name, site ID, and key in here, which are basically your credentials. And um, you, you'll be given these values by Cayenne as soon as you call them to sign up for an account with them. And you shouldn't really follow our example in here because uh, everybody's credentials will be, of course, different. And the first credential we just filled in uh, account name, even though many times it's just your company name, you should still look at the paperwork that um, Kyan gives you because you want to make sure that you uh, match it exactly as they have it in their system. And um, that way the account, because it's part of the cre credentials, an account will be fully operational only if everything they have matches with what you're entering in here. Now we're going to go ahead and select to allow duplicate amounts. That just means that the same customer, the same credit card can be charged in the same day, in the same 24 hours with the same exact amount in case they're like coming back or something. But usually it's kind of like safe to keep this off, to kind of like um, avoid some mistakes of double charging. But um, 
which are a rare anyways but uh, for testing purposes we'll just go ahead and select allow duplicates um, terminal ID we're not gonna have one right now because we're not gonna use a special terminal we're just gonna use a let's say a regular credit card swiper re regular simple old credit card reader uh, so we're not gonna uh, click this option either because we're not using the special genius terminal from kind right now for this example uh, so we don't have to fill out the IP address in here for that terminal which is an IP address that you get from the menu uh, digging through the menu in that terminal and of course Kyan will give you instructions on how to do all of this should, uh, should you use a genius terminal uh, but now for our example in here we'll keep it simple now we're, when we're talking about the uh, simple card reader or card swiper as some call it um, you can't just buy it from anywhere uh, Kyan actually has their own special ones that um, even though maybe the same brand name uh, from some big manufacturer that you can find elsewhere uh, these are actually programmed by Kyan in-house with their own uh, encryption so uh, with their own you know um, with their own uh, software so they work a little bit differently to protect from uh, you know credit card fraud and, and, and getting hacked and stuff like that so make sure you get your kit a credit card reader no matter how simple directly from Cayenne don't try to purchase it on the side uh, from somewhere else or to use something that you have laying around uh, from previous you know companies so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, click save account so what we've entered in here is all saved so we don't have to do this again we don't have to do this next time we process a card so just go ahead and click process card now I think we're ready to do that and this is the screen where you just swipe the card uh, for this uh, example in here we're not gonna swipe the card to tell you the truth we don't have a swiper right now in here so we're just gonna show you how it looks like to manually enter the card we're gonna enter the um, numbers from the card manually we have a testing card in here commonly known as a visa test card used for uh, situations like this and it will really work this is a real life system once we hit process it should process our payment we should get a positive confirmation and we did you see how long it takes not even a second maybe approved authorization code reference number this is all saved and of course printed on the receipt as soon as we hit OK transaction is done now you have uh, this menu uh, for collecting uh, customer data you know it very well from our uh, previous videos and let's say for the first time in here we'll just show you how it looks like to just skip this screen so we'll hit, hit skip this screen and the transaction is over 